Hey you. We are at my daughter's house. I slept over and we're doing dishes today, which some people might think is very, very too easy to explain, but I know that not everybody knows how to do a dish well and efficiently and actually have some fun because I make it artsy fartsy too because that's me. So this is what we do. First of all, I've come to this. You can see things are stacked. I've got everything stacked on one side that's dirty and on, on my clean side, everything's clean. You wanna do that before. So during the day before, like these are last night's dishes, as you're eating your food, whatever, and you finish something, you're going to rinse it out. I'll turn that on later, because it makes a lot of noise. Rinse it out as you go. You don't want all the gooey food sticking overnight. You know how stiff and yucky that is and how hard it is to take off. So we'll talk about that in a moment but then you put it to the right of the sink. And if you've got roommates, if all of you do that, stack things to the right, then you keep the left side clean. You always have a clean side, much more peace of mind. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started. First of all, in the sink. I've come to the sink and it's looking pretty cruddy here. It's autumn here in Canada, so we've got all kinds of things. So I'm gonna clean the sink first. It'll help. Just rinsed it and I'm taking all the little bits and pieces that need to go and those are going to go in the garbage or we have a little compost one more seed and here's our little compost bin but whatever you got and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use warm water now I'm gonna use I'm gonna put in probably about a tablespoon of soap um, that's usually enough. And you want to put the soap in early so you get some sud. Warm to hot water. I have a single sink. I have a single sink here. If you have a double sink, you might just fill one with soapy water. And the other half, you can have a rinse sink. If you have a, a lot of dishes, that's nice. We don't have too many today. Now, I only have about an inch of water. I usually would go a little bit more, but you don't need to wait till it's full to start. So I'm, I want to start, there's a strategy to this, of course. A couple things, I've got a cloth. You're gonna want a, generally a scrubby brush to get into things down below. If you don't have one, you can still wash your dishes. It's not an excuse, but it helps. And sometimes something to scour with. I'm where I'm at. There's a little plasticky thing. Um, you can get some that are have um, stainless steel. Um, there's something called an SOS pad that's like stainless steel. It's got a, a, har a very uh, harsh soap in it. Honestly, some jobs need that, but that's very few. Usually this is plenty for what you need to do. Okay, I want to start with... Um, anything plastic because what happens is anything greasy in my water is going to stick to the plastic and I, so I'm not going to put any of my greasy dishes in yet. Now I'm rinsing. So all I've done is wash. 
I've rubbed everything with my cloth and I've rinsed the soap off. Now, you can hear this perhaps. You want to hear on plastic a squeak. Otherwise your plastic still has grease on it and that's gross. <laughs> you don't want to leave grease on your things. They're not really clean. Stuff can stick to it. I'm banging out this sieve because then all the water inside in between comes out and it's going to dry faster. So you can see this is taking up my whole dry rack, so I'm going to I'm going to dry it real quick to get it out of the way. Most things I'm going to leave just to dry on their own. So while I dry these, you can also have overflow. I'm going to get a little overflow spot here. Yeah, this is a good thing to tell you about overflow. I'm going to put my dude on an overflow spot to dry. I will also dry some of this. What I've done here is put a wooden spoon on another towel. The wooden spoon props things up so you can get air underneath. If I put this down straight like that, no air can get in there. The outside will dry but the inside won't. But if I put a wooden spoon or some utensil underneath it, this is a clean wooden spoon, so I'm not gonna make my lettuce dryer dirty by putting it on something dirty. It just gives it, gives it some airflow. So I've given that a little dry. So you can see too with the drying, I'm, I'm holding it and I'm going around to every surface and I'm just rubbing it, that's all. You want a clean dry towel. Probably every three to four days, change out your dry towel. And in the kitchen, you just use this for drying things. Never use this for wiping something off. So if you've got roommates, that's a good rule. If they're from places that they haven't had, they're not used to it. We have a lot of roommates from other countries. They may never have done dishes. So we, we just tell people, okay, the wet cloth is for wiping up wet things and spills and then once it's cleaned off then you wipe with a dry towel but this isn't used for wiping up gooey things this is just used for drying so then these can often stay clean for a week but if you have a number of people living together every two or three days change the dry towel out too every day change out your washcloth if you don't have a lot of money and a lot of cloths um, go maybe maybe twice a week, but if you can, and you've got enough rags, every day is best. Okay, I have a big sink, one inch of water, or two to three centimeters. It's about here on my finger. It is actually going to get me far in a sink this size. I'm going to start with okay, more plastics and glass. Now we recycle our bags. We use if we have a good. Ziploc bag, we reuse it because they're pretty heavy duty. It's better on the environment and it's better on our budget. So we actually wash our bags. So there's my squeak. If I'd use that bag for like raw meat in the freezer, no, I'm not going to wash it. I will chuck that, but that was used for veggies, some kind of a snack. So it's fine. And a little deli container we're reusing. Same thing, getting my plastics and my squeak and now I can go to glass okay I'm going a little bit fast here so I'm going to slow down so I'm going in the glass with the cloth and I'm rubbing around I know these these glasses just have water in them so they don't need too much attention but I really want to pay attention to the lid or sort of the lip where our lips touch we have a number of people who come and go from this kitchen that's where it matters the most we don't have guests spitting into the cup so that's not as much a problem here <laughs> depends on your crowd <laughs> and the age of the when I had little boys in the house yeah so you're, you're just gonna worry about the whole cup so <laughs> here we've got women it's not gonna come up so much okay let's <laughs> We're gonna go on to, to dishes and plates so and bowls. So here's some plates. I wanted to give you a little sense of this. I've 
these are this is something I used and I rinsed last night so it actually looks pretty clean but it's it's not it's been used however you don't see a bunch of dried food stuck to it because I rinsed it what I mean by rinsed it was last night after I used it I gave it a rinse like that and I put it on the side of the sink real simple <laughs> it, was, it was an event <laughs> I didn't rinse some of these to show you uh, what happens when you don't rinse. So here's a bowl that has some sort of pasta sauce and actually in a way I did. I, I'm so compulsive about this. I made sure that was out because it was going to be more to handle. If you let your food dry on, I'm sure you've all experienced this, it gets really really stiff and you get these real sticky yucky things and they don't come off fast when you put them in the water. So here's our pasta dishes. So we didn't even get, so I've got little bits of herbs and whatever we had on that. Um, it's summer, so we're throw, grabbing stuff from the garden. Um, I didn't rinse that, so this is gonna be harder to wash. I'm gonna show you how to wash it. It's, we can do it, but if I had taken the time last night to rinse it, then I would have a plate that looks much more like this. So this guy, has some stuff on them but you notice I put them in the water and it softens up so if you have things are, that are kind of gooey from the night before you put them in the water and you let them soak and you can do the ones that are easy while the tough stuff soaks and it will come off really easily once it's soaked if you rinsed at night before you don't need the soaking time but soaking works so we'll let a couple things soak, but while those are soaking, I'm going to do some easy things. So here's another dish that got a light rinse, but it could have done better. So some are soaking. So again, I've got cups, so I'm going to watch the, the lip area. Quick rinse. I'm using warm water. You can use cold, but it doesn't lift, doesn't lift the dirt as much as warm. If you can use warm, please use warm. Now another bowl here. One thing you're going to see is how I'm stacking. I have a couple things going on. It's my scrub. Oh, I've got two scrub brushes. I'm rich. Okay. <laughs> I can get my plastic out of the way. So I want my plastic open so it's going to dry. We're going to do it. I'm going to show you a trick with that in a moment. I can do it now. Here's another. I'm going to get two spoons. That's one way to get your plastic drying, is use a wooden spoon or some utensil. I've got my cups, and I'm going to prop them up. Just making room here for what's coming. Okay, so I love doing stacking well because you can fit more in. So I'm looking at this little arrangement where I'm at. I'm not used to this kitchen, but it's a kitchen. They're not that complicated. I know to go from right to left. I think I said the reverse before. Did I say left to right? I might have. And um, <laughs> I've got morning brain. I can wash a dish. I can't think at the same time. Okay. Okay, now I've soaked this one and I'm rubbing and stuff's coming off. This is another thing. Just because you put your cloth over it doesn't mean it's clean. <laughs> you actually have to look at it and see if the dirt comes off. It's same with vacuuming. Just because you put your vacuum over something doesn't mean it works. Actually look at the rug and make sure it's lifting. So look at the job you're doing and see if it's working. It's, it's so simple, but if we're not told and we're not used to it, we might not know to actually look. So again, I've looked and I've rubbed and it's clean. So what I'm doing, I'm stacking a bowl within a bowl, but I'm making sure not too tight. I want some air to be able to get in there to dry things off. And um, so I've got an efficient use of space. Over here, I've got my two yucky guys. And the things that follow are a little bit yuckier as well. I've got a greasy pan. You want the greasy stuff at the end. Oh, a little more plastic. So before I put this red sauce in the and start to wreck my water, I've got some more plastic. 
I want to do that first or it's going to pick up all the grease from here and it will literally stick to my plastic and come out dirtier than when I put it in, which is frustrating and disgusting for anybody you live with. Okay, so I'm rent I've got something caught here. Oh, it was probably some citrus thing because we used it. So I'm just checking and it's good. I rinse it again. So the rinse takes the bubbles off and you can see it is it clean. And I saw it wasn't, so I dealt with that. Let it stand up to, to do its thing. Oh, and this is plastic too. A little more plastic. It is the, the flipper. I don't know, pancake flipper, whatever it was. And now that's clean. Okay, so now utensils I'm standing up. It's just an efficient use of space and seeing the water drips down. This uh, drying rack has little holes in it so the water is going to drip through and we've got a countertop that we don't want to just have water everywhere. So I just put a towel underneath it. If you have a second sink, a double sink, sometimes people just put that into their second sink so they wash, rinse, and put it into the dry rack there. Then you don't need a towel underneath. It can just go into the sink. Okay, we are ready for our, our goopy stuff. Put it in the water. And the other thing I'm gonna put in are all of my all of my cutlery. All these can go in. Now, some of them have been rinsed, some haven't. We'll let them soak a bit. But I wanna pay attention to the knife especially and the wood. So I'm going to let these guys soak as well with the cutlery. I don't want to put my knife right in where, where they are because um, I could go reaching for something and just cut and grab the knife. My skin's soft in the water. So you want to wash your knife separately. And uh, wood, you don't want soaking too long in water. Wood is not, you don't want to put it in the water. It's going to to soak too long, a little bit because it's got some things on it. But I'm not going to leave it for an hour in the water. It'll ruin it. So do my knife. I'm going to use the the brush on that and and I think I'll use my cloth too but I'm not going to take the sharp side. I've got the dull side and I I just squeeze it, go like that and I know it's clean. I'm going to take the handle, give it a little massage <laughs> and then I'm going to put it point down so you don't go reaching and you slice yourself. So that's that's handling a knife. Handling the wood, I just make sure this had egg on it, so we give it a little scrub. I can feel the egg is actually finally off of it. You could also use something like this guy. You're watching the ends where the food gets stuck. Same thing, just giving everything a rinse. It's just healthy for you not to have soap left on. This has bits of whatever I scraped yesterday. So same thing, I'm looking at it. Is it clean? Oh, and it's plastic, so it's good. I put it in early. Okay, this has a plastic handle too, so I'll deal with that. Lovely, and I'm leaving room for my, my other bits, my cutlery. Let's check on these plates. Now you can see that's a lot better just from soaking. So I didn't do anything to it, but put it in the water early. So I think we can deal with the plates now. Oop. Try not to break your dishes while you do that. <laughs> it's good policy, especially when you're at someone else's house. <laughs> All right, I'm Greek, bang! We don't do the dishes. <laughs> we just break them. Everything's disposable. Uh. <laughs> All right, rinsing, and check the back. If you've stacked a bunch of dirty dishes, maybe you had a bunch of company over, the, the back side can be full of stuff too. So it's, sometimes you wanna watch each dish, the back of them too. 